Hi, I'm Lucy, your narrator. Thanks for joining me for another video, and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also, please watch this video to the end to see the preview, trailer, and some really nice behind-the-scenes photos. Rear Window is a mystery and thriller movie. It was released in the USA in 1954 and it stars James Stewart and Grace Kelly. And some of their co-stars were Raymond Burr, Thelma Ritter, Wendell Corey and others. It was directed by Alfred Hitchcock and it was nominated for four Oscars. The movie is about a wheelchair-bound photographer spies on his neighbors from his Greenwich Village courtyard apartment window and becomes convinced one of them has committed murder, despite the skepticism of his fashion model girlfriend. And now I've got some behind the scenes tidbits for you. All the apartments in Thorwell's building had electricity and running water and could be lived in. And during the month-long shoot, Georgine Darcy, or Miss Torso, lived in her apartment all day, relaxing between takes as if really at home. And by most accounts, everyone was crazy about Grace Kelly. According to James Stewart, everybody just sat around and waited for her to come in the morning so we could just look at her. She was kind to everybody, so considerate, just great, and so beautiful. Stewart also praised her instinctive acting ability and her complete understanding of the way motion picture action is carried out. Director Alfred Hitchcock spent a great deal of time with costume designer Edith Head on Grace Kelly's look, which was characteristic of his often obsessive relationship with his leading ladies. One costume he fretted over was the negligee Lisa wears to spend the night at Jeff's. He quietly pulled Head aside and suggested falsies to give Kelly a bustier look. Head and Kelly, however, made only a few changes in costume construction and posture. Hitchcock was fooled into thinking Kelly had been padded and approved the look. Sir Alfred Hitchcock liked working with James Stewart, especially in comparison to his other most frequent star, Cary Grant who was fussy and demanding. Stewart, in Hitchcock's eyes, was an easygoing, workmanlike performer. However, Wendell Corey, who appeared with Stewart in several movies, said the actor could also have a whopping big ego and could intimidate even Hitchcock by out-shouting and out-arguing him if he thought a scene wasn't going well. There was steel under all that mush, Corey said. And according to Thelma Ritter, Sir Alfred Hitchcock never told actors and actresses if he liked what they did in a scene. And if he didn't like it, he looked like he was going to throw up. And James Stewart was 46 years old and Grace Kelly was 25 when this movie was made. This is the scene of the crime. A crime of passion filmed in a way you have never seen before. And as no one else would dare attempt. But the screen's master of suspense, the producer-director who shocked the world with Psycho. This is the apartment of a man named Jeffries, a news photographer whose beat used to be the world. Right now, his world has shrunk down to the size of this window. He's been watching the people across the way. Nobody seems to pull their blinds during a hot spell like this. He knows a lot about them by now. Too much, perhaps. 
For instance, down there on the second floor, the woman pacing about. He calls her Miss Lonely Hearts, so lonely that even death seems like a friend. These are the newlyweds on a honeymoon no one will ever forget. He calls her Miss Hearing Aid, an artist of a very odd and strange art. The songwriter who plays the same melody over and over again. A genius or insane? This is the traveling salesman and his invalid wife. Out of their arguments and nagging comes a weird kind of love. Miss Torso, the body beautiful. That is, viewed from a safe distance. Those are just a few of my neighbors. First, I watched them just to kill time, but then I couldn't take my eyes off them, just as you won't be able to. And you won't be able to take your eyes off the glowing beauty of Grace Kelly, who shares the heart and curiosity of James Stewart in this story of a romance shadowed by the terror of a horrifying secret. like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.